I feel quite manly holding this. It's got a little winky battery poking out the bottom of it though. All right, folks, so here's something a little bit interesting. This is a works nail gun. A mate of mine, un unfortunately, he didn't realize that the works have different types of batteries. This is one of my battery uh, holders for the old style works. And he's asked me to modify this. So what I've done is I've put a couple of bits of wood on the back of it here, and that will slide in place on the bottom of there. That'll all get glued in and we will connect up the, the cables. But one thing that I didn't or wasn't aware of was the fact that actually there's three pins here. The two clearly are positive and negative drive. The other one is a temperature sensor. Just here on the drill, there's a little status indicator light. I'll just show you real quick. So if I just connect up 18 volts, okay, and then we hit the trigger on the drill, you'll notice that this then flashes green, which ultimately tells you we're over temperature. So it has, it is actually making use of that. It is actually doing some temperature sensing. So I then took a couple of batteries and I started looking at different batteries and trying to figure out the batteries that have got this extra thermal sense line in them. Some of them have got ID written alongside it as well. And this one has D written alongside it, which scares the poopy out of me. I thought perhaps they might be data. Perhaps when you plug in a battery now, things have got so complicated that it just basically does a little bit of I squared C data bus chatter and it tells it tells you if it's an original battery and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, the good news is it's not that complicated. Um, you can fool <laughs> you can fool this entire system with a little 10k resistor. So if I then plug this 10k resistor between this pin, the ground here, and this thermal sense pin here, uh, then this gun functions as per normal so i'm going to go ahead and make that modification we'll stick this little battery housing on the back of there we'll glue it all up make it look pretty and then our friend can put his regular works batteries to use because he's got about 10 of those works batteries old school ones and he'll be able to put those to use with this nail gun yeah i suppose the other thing uh, to be aware of which is quite useful to know is uh, hopefully you can see there that that is quite literally just a standard crimp and uh, they fit quite nicely onto those spade connectors that are in there so uh, so I'm just going to modify this up and um, just solder a little resistor a little 10k resistor onto this <laughs> Let's do some testing. I feel quite manly holding this. It's got a little winky battery poking out the bottom of it though. All right, let's have a go. I don't, I've never used one of these before. Let's uh, see what happens. <laughs> man, oh man, that shoots nails. <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm just putting nails all over the place at the minute. <laughs> 